Today I'm going to show you how to program your sign using software version 2.93. Go into where you have the software saved, right click start LED, and press run as administrator to avoid any issues. When the program starts up, it typically won't be in English. So the third option from the right is language. Click that and press English. Click setting and select setting screen. The password is 168. If not already set, enter the width and height of your sign and select the color and whatever options that may apply. All of the screen settings will already be set by us when you make a purchase, so there really isn't any need to worry about that. In order for you to create any text, you must have a program to insert the text into. Next to the save button is the program button. Press that and you will see program appear underneath your sign. Once you have your new program, click on the title button next to the program button. This will allow you to input text. As you can see, the subtitle doesn't take up the whole sign. So if you click and drag the bottom right hand corner, you can make the subtitle box as big as you want. Down here in the setting box, you can type whatever text you want to put on your sign. You can also change the font, the font size, and the font style. If you put another program and another title, then your sign will alternate between the two messages. If you click on the program that the subtitle is in, you can see program attribute down at the bottom left. If you change the play mode to timer, you can set a start time for that program to start playing and an end time for it to stop. You can make this setting happen every day on a weekly basis or by a specific date. On the right hand side you will see a border box. If you check the enabled box, then you can add a border. Like so. You can change what type of border is being displayed, which direction is it going, how fast it is animated. If you make your text a certain size, but there's still space for it to get bigger, then you can use the vertical stretch option here. This will enable the font to grow vertically, or decrease vertically. There are also two zoom buttons here if you want to get a closer look at your program. Next to the title button, you'll see a button that says dial. This enables you to place a clock on your sign to keep track of the time. You can change the style of the pointer and the dial as well. As well as the style, you can also change the size. And the radius. Say you don't want a program, just select the program and hit the delete button up at the top with the big red X. When you're done editing your program, if your sign is wireless, you click the send button and 
that will send your program directly to your sign. If it is not wireless, simply plug in a flash drive and press the USB button. This will automatically upload the program to your flash drive. Once it's uploaded, simply plug in your USB drive into the sign and it will automatically detect the program and upload it. After you're done editing your program, simply press the save button and choose a location for you to save it. These are the basics for editing your sign. Thank you for watching.